Hey guys, as an update to the last video that I did regarding the SeaTech CCS adapter, I reached out to the company after I did my testing and uh, notified them about the problems I was having with it, and they very quickly responded to my email and sent me some new firmware. Let's plug it in. It takes just a micro USB cable, and a little green light comes on on the front. Updating the firmware of the computer requires Windows. I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to use VMware here. So I'm just going to connect to Windows, and they give you this... Uh, software that you have to install. There's a driver because, you know, it is Windows. Here's the latest firmware, 143. So I'm actually going to run that and should be on COM port 3. Click right and there we go. Unplug the USB port like that. And the green light is still on. So I'm just going to press the button to turn it off. And now we can take this and go back to our stations, give it another go, see if it fixes our problems. Hopefully it does. Right, today we are going to go back to the very same spot that we did last time. We'll try the two chargers now that we have updated the firmware. Matter of fact, if I'm successful, hopeful, uh, I might even try a third brand and we'll see how that works. Same unit as last time. Oh, oh this thing is like a python. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, hopefully you can see that, but we got an orange light here. This is still flashing green. This still says initiating. And the car, unfortunately, says charging is stopped. Well, the screen there says communicating with the vehicle, but inside the car it says ready to charge. So I don't know what's going on. Vehicle timeout. Lovely. All right, try it one more time, I guess. Ugh. I plug this beast. Green light is on. I wonder if this would be easier in the summer communicating with the vehicle. The car says ready to charge. Okay, now it says authorized. The light is flashing green. Fans are coming on. The light here is still blue. Oh, now it went blue dark blue the car says charging is stopped yeah still an orange light here on the car well obviously this particular charging session on the very same cabinet i tried the first time didn't work communications problem obviously so i'm going to go to the electrify canada station and we'll try that cabinet and maybe might get some better results with this firmware i have no idea green light is on connecting to vehicle is good authorized Let's see what happens I heard the contactors close, blue light, flashing green. Whoa, hold on. Hold the phone, folks. We got a green light and it's flashing. And the screen says it's good. Let's check the car. Well, we have some success. We're at 21% uh, on the battery. We're getting 36, 35 kilowatts. Could be a lot better though, because well, the unit is rated a lot higher. Well guys, I've had some success here at the Electrify Canada charger and this fellow here I've just been talking to, he's got an Audi e-tron and I actually ran into him at the Petro Canada station, the one that I had troubles with and he was having the same troubles too, probably just the location. Flow station, let's try this one. At least this station has a longer cable. Contactors just closed. Hey, we got a green light. Green light is flashing. Station is stationing. Let's take a look inside the car. And this time we're getting 39 kilowatts. A little bit better than the other one, but close enough to call this pretty much a wash. Okay, so let's talk about this adapter. My experience is here today. First of all, well, Petro Canada, at least that station, didn't work out. I don't know why I thought during my travels, because that was the first station I tried. 
So I thought during my travels that I might have had a bad adapter. Well, when I got to uh, Electrify Canada, it certainly worked. And of course, now here at the Flow Station, worked as well. Speaking of which, let's talk about the specs because this unit is rated at 200 amps. Now the nominal voltage on my car, long range performance Model 3 is 400 volts. So when you do the math, so theoretically should be getting 80 kilowatts out of this, but we're not, we're getting maximum 37 to 40. That leads me to believe, and talking to others on the internet, I think what this unit is doing is actually spoofing the Chatamo adapter. It's not a true CCS. So if the company is working behind the scenes on increasing that power, more power to them. <laughs> Sorry about the pun. There's room for improvement. I'll take it. But honestly, right now, if this is the only power we're ever going to get out of this unit, I think most of us are probably better off with the Chatamo adapter. Chatamo is pretty much everywhere still at this point, but CCS is certainly taking over. I'm definitely going to have to try another Petro Canada station, but right now we're batting two for three. You know, Flow, we got uh, Electrify Canada and Petro Canada. Those are the main three that I want to test out anyway. So I'm going to chalk it up right now at this point to a bad station. We'll revisit. We'll do another one.